Yeah, those three biker guys, huh? Oh, yeah, they're... They're bragging. Yeah, they have firebombed and uh, beat up that fucking turban head squatting in their homeland for 30 years. Yeah, these bikers, they hate the guys to burst their foreign workers. Huh? Their uh, sexual preference, oh, homosexual, uh, they show affection uh, towards one another by fist fucking. Uh, yeah, they're arguing. Who has the nastiest swastika tattoo? Swastika says, look, say my name. Bruno, huh? He's, um, well, calling upon, uh, oh, Pasha, huh? Oh, yeah. Prodigy, huh? Artist, huh? Oh, yeah. And, you know, he's been to India, okay? Just saying. World citizen empathy expertise. He's making his move. Um, they do know he wraps himself in the uh, mogul peacock bed spread. S uh, soak stained, soak stained, soaked liquid body splotches. Uh, oh, um, well, uh, yeah, the bikers, huh? Well, that gets their attention. They smell the patchouli oil, and oh, what's what's that? Um, so. Pasha, his German, no. So he goes mostly with crude hand signals and uh, a few words he knows in German. Um, yeah, he, he he introduces himself. Ich bin ein Tourist. Haben Sie Wasser for the hood? Oh, then he realizes he doesn't have a dog with him. Um, well, and then he points. Look, over here, Bruno's a black leather motorcycle pants. Mm-hmm. And where do you, I want the pants to go? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, uh, so Bruno says, uh, or he motions, he doesn't say anything. Uh, Turn around. Oh, yeah, and when uh, Pasha turns around, huh? 21. Mm hmm. Lovely, lovely curly lad. <laughs> Bruno gets a hard on. Oh, yeah, that, that, that meaty Teutonic schlong of his. Mm hmm. Frustrating the inside of that large brass zipper going down those uh, leather, leather pants, huh? I mean, what he, f you know, figures out is that uh, this naive, uh, fresh, hippie ass wants a rough biker fuck. Mm. Um, yeah, especially when uh, Pasha says, uh, Ich hatte... Gern this is? I, I want to have these? Oh. Maybe something was in translation. Oh, yeah, he points to the bedspread. Um, mm hmm. Well, um, Bruno, huh? I mean, this is an international park. It's, it's Europe's. Oldest park, organized beautifully, landscape park. So he, um, yeah, um, there is a public toilet um, there. You know, for public use. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, and uh, yeah, look at that bedspread. Uh, <clears throat> my my boots are dirty. I need something to wipe those on, huh? Some, kind of like a welcome mat vibe. <laughs> and he just says to Pasha, are you sure you can afford it? <laughs> okay, flashback. We're starting to, we're going to get, uh, get a whole abundant series of flashbacks coming up. If I may flash forward for just a moment. Um, to the Neptune band, headed for Berlin. 
Well, uh, yeah, they crossed the Danube River. <laughs> uh, they're halfway to Nuremberg. They're just, you know, so he sighs as they go. Uh, Foxy, maybe we shouldn't have ripped off Pasha in Munich. Well, uh, Foxy shuts that right down. Uh, hey, you bought the van, man. You know, uh, Pasha, oversensitive, spoiled artist, world-selling author, blah, blah, blah. And who, he, he wanted to stop at the Cathedral of Cologne on the way at 3 o'clock in the morning and, and take some acid and walk up the stairs inside the highest steeple. It was the highest building in the world. <sighs> How straight is that? Ooh. Um, oh, silk, huh? Whew. Uh, whew. It goes with the strong flow. Uh, I, oh, I see what you mean, Foxy. Uh, uh, look, we got this rare chance huh, to pull off spectacular hash run. Navalese temple balls as big as donkey, you know, and just we'll make a fortune. Bring that shit to Berlin and you got the squat crowd connection. An ounce of Bolivian Coke, anyone? It's, oh, let's party. All on me. Huh? <laughs> mm. Oh, Foxy, you'd make the ideal courier. They'll just think you're my daughter. <laughs> uh, we, meanwhile, back in Ischlander Garden, you know what that means, don't you? <laughs> Um, uh, you know, Pasha, he's tremendously relieved <laughs> to be able to speak English with these guys. <laughs> yeah. And so he says, like, I want a pair of pants, not a <laughs> butt fuck. Uh, and he needs transportation to get over to Olympic Airlines office in downtown trendy Munich. München? Bita? Ooh. Well, <laughs> bemused. Uh, Spike rummages through his leather motorcycle bags and he comes up with a pair of old German Lederhosen. <laughs> Lederhosen? Classic Bavarian leather shorts with leather suspenders. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Bruno dangles those right in front of the eyes of Pasha. Yeah, he, just to kind of entrance him as he whispers, how oh, these babies will cost you. Oh, uh, well, we're talking world so uh, survival fry off. off. <laughs> I need to go back to Rhodes, do the Cicero School of Speech. If you only knew your history. Um, yeah, so Pasha, he just, like, he whips out his driver's check, signs the bottom line, that makes him legal. They used to use paper to, to transfer money to each other. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, well, that makes, that makes Bruno chocolate good-naturedly. He goes back to his butt. Rob, just around. Oh, and and for your Yankee one hundred dollar bill, beta beta Madagana. <laughs> uh, I'll throw in a pair of flip flops. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, things are looking out fast for Posh. And they said, "Look, um, look, he, he has a old white T shirt, but he uses it to wipe the engine off his." Uh, <clears throat> the engine of his BMW. Well, he throws those in. No extra charge. We're going international here on your ass. Oh, uh, <laughs> he likes how ridiculous Bosch is. <laughs> uh, so, Bruno, 
dang later. <laughs> Help. Um, he motions. This is a macho move, okay? To hop on the back of his bike. And off they go. In uh, goose V formation. That way they can screw up traffic in both directions. <laughs> they're, they're roaring in and making trouble in the heart of Germany.